I should have thought about this, shouldn't I? Ooh, now I'm like, oh my god, there's been so much. So, there's still no name for the mystery diagnosis. But, I'll tell you what's made me feel so much better, is that there was a few horrible like diseases and things like that, um, which I was worried about all sorts of stuff, you know, because you do. I pulled up the courage to ask the neurologist. He's like, nope, 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 doesn't have this, doesn't have that, because this would show this, this and this. And since then I've been so much more chilled out. She's got a cakewalker, and it's only I think the past month or two that we'll we'll go to Starbucks coffee or something, and we'll have a and it'll be like right okay she can walk now from let's get her to walk from here to the car or here to the door to get out and it's just ace because she can do it. Um, but you can just hold on to her hands. She couldn't do this last time actually. I can hold on to her hands. And she can just walk. A gate, a walking gate is a bit, you know, it's a bit different. Um, it's very B. Um, but, um, but yeah, I couldn't do that last time. She could not even, you just have to hold her under her arms all the time. She just had no stability. But with all the physio and the cold strength, building up. Yeah, no, she's come on leaps and bounds going to extra physio. Damon Khan, who's like amazing, he worked originally for the NHS. He was the first physio to have her. But B had an amazing uh, rapport with him and she would do anything for him. Yeah, he can get things out of her and get her to do things that I can't, that no one can. She can now cruise, holding on to things, just come on immensely. He's, he's amazing. Well, she does have school in September and the physio at NHS said, you know, for her to be independent and thrive and be included, um, she'll need a wheelchair. And honestly, I didn't know how to feel about that at first. Because it's like, you just don't ever imagine your child in a wheelchair, do you? When they're at school, she's going to be very tired. They're there every day. Um, he says it preserves the energy, then if she's tired, she still needs to be able to be included and do things. So she'll be up walking and doing a thing at nursery, but then come afternoon, she might want to go in a wheelchair. After hearing it like that, I was like, okay, then I'm going to start, I can, I can start accepting that. She just takes it, like, she's been a massive inspiration. She wants to be independent. She wants to do things for herself all the time. She's doing she's doing so well. Bee's not a baby anymore.